Game Grump. And I'm the Game Grump. Hey, welcome back. I'm going through some old art. As I left off last time, here's Captain Falcon holding a fucking baby and stealing it and running away. Because he's so fast. Falcon Ponch. This is George Washington shredding on a guitar. The top should be coming out. This is just something, a little something I drew. This is when I was obsessed with effects. I wasn't obsessed with effects. I just saw somebody else do something like this and I was like, oh, that's neat. So I tried to do it myself. So it's like her in her room and it's like morning and the, she can just, the shadow of the blinds is on her. I was really proud of that one. It's it nice. And also tons of cleavage. You can see the fucking developing into puberty right here. There's the butt outline and the uh, and the boobage. There's another girl with huge boobs. Just unrealistically huge boobs. This is what happens when you give a 16 year old the ability to draw, dude. He will draw his own- I drew porn. It's just not in here. I drew it in sketchbooks instead. Girl says I'm hungry. Some knight jumping for the kill, just trying to get intense with the poses. This is my Shirinui from uh, King of Fighters. It's a girl in her underwear. Oh, it's Melissa. I don't know why I named her Melissa. Like, what is what? What does that name mean to me? It doesn't mean anything. I guess here's another Melissa. Just trying to get like real dramatic and painted with it. Sup hotness. Some girl I drew in pink. Just trying to draw faces. I mean, I was just drawing all the time. I was just fucking drawing every day. This is what I did to pass the time. Here's Blanca drinking some battery acid. I remember that specifically. He was drinking battery acid. Guy running by, shooting a gun. Oh, here's, uh, Ryoko from Tenchi Muyo. Tenchi Muyo was huge for me growing up, man. Anime... Just getting into anime, that character design, man, Ryoko, ugh, awakened something in me. I have herpes, he says. So he's like, get away! I have herpes! And then I drew a ninja turtle with Goku hair, and then called it Dragon Ball Turtles. So you can see I was at the peak of my comedy prowess back then. This is Shermy from King of Fighters. I, I love, still my favorite character to this day, Shermy. Just adorable, such a cool dress. Um, and I love that her hair's in front of her face and it's all lips. It's just, it's, she's just so fucking cute. Oh, and I guess I colored her. That's Goku, I guess. Tiny eyes. Oh my gosh, that's scandalous! It's like you can really tell the puberty set in. Okay, let's not show that. Let's not show that. Let's not show that. Let's not show that. Here's Melissa. Um, I called it Perfect Melissa, and I can remember, after drawing this, I was like, This is exactly what I want her to look like. Probably because I was in love, and it gave me a boner when I drew it. As a little 16-year-old boy, I was like, oh my gosh, what a beautiful lady. Huh. Look at all that personality. Apparently I had a... Had a sense of humor as a kid. Proto Juro. I don't fucking know who this is. But this is... Maybe I drew this for a friend. Uh... I guess I was trying some kind of like, cell shaded but kind of realistic style. Oh, I drew this on paper. This is Eager Raptor fighting some guy, so he blocked a punch. Or maybe he... Told him to punch his hand. I don't know. Oh, so that's that character, that's that effeminate character. So here's a... <laughs> his name was Robin! That's right. And I don't remember what her name was, so apparently I just called her Chick at the time. Here's some stupid shit- well, I kinda actually love his design a little bit, with his fucking tight-ass pants and his, like, crotch guard and everything. He's so fucking androgynous. Uh, so this girl he hanged out with, uh, she was in love with him. Throw that into 16-year-old Aaron Pyle. Yeah, I, I gotta say, like, this was, what, 14 years ago? I've grown up a lot since then. And I think a lot of things that kids do as a kid are informed by their want to have relations with a woman, being a young and budding um, person, or, or, or man, or whatever. Just sexual relations in general. So this character was born out of that, right? But 
I fucking Hideo kojima did. it. I was like, no, there's a reason that she doesn't wear any clothes, and it was because I, I, I made her have a skin disease. So, like, her skin gets very hot very easily, so she has to wear, like, nothing- she has to wear mesh. In order to, like, function. And I thought that was so cool and original. What a fucking idiot I was. And this is- this is them hugging. This was a self-portrait. If you can believe that. This is, uh... This is what I thought of myself. Handsome, cool, playing beat mania. With a DDR machine in the background. What a fucking stud. And there's the black and white version. And there's a cute little beat and, uh, gum from, uh, Jet Set Radio. Sonic. Oh, this is when I was drawing, like, Sega characters. So I was like, alright, I'll just take a bunch of squares and draw Sega characters in them. So here's Beat and Gum, and there's Sonic, and there's Ooh La La, my absolute favorite character of all time. This is from, uh, Virtua Cop. Um, and I just typed out the word police and warped it a little bit, so... <laughs> um... But I was like, yeah, man, fucking love Sega. This is Melissa again. I remember I was really proud of this one, because it was like... It had depth. And like the sh you like you just felt like you were there a little bit because it, it sort of had like a sense of like the shadows and like where the sun was coming from and you could see the sky and there's an angle to it. That's oh, cool. Some girl. I am the sperminator. Okay. Uh I called him totally gay guy. You know, and it's like I knew here's the thing, man. Coming into puberty and not understanding my own sexuality, I, uh... I, pu I put it onto paper, right? So... Here's me figuring out what it means to have an effeminate side. And I called it totally gay guy because I didn't understand. I didn't understand that drawing this character and me liking what this character was was okay, you know? So I was like, trying to make like a defense mechanism out of it. Totally gay guy. <laughs> he's a gay guy. Meanwhile, I'm like, I fucking love this. This is so cool. With the belts and the thin pants and the abs and... Anyway. Here's another picture of him. His name's Robin. I ended up calling him Robin. So the, I called her totally hot chick. So this is the girl, right? And I, I made her even less clothed based on, um... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the storyline ever. Yeah, this is a colored picture of her. I don't know if I ever named her. I was never good at names. Um, and here's her in a weird pose. Uh, here's... I guess another girl in that universe. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. The hot pants with the... The, like, belt straps coming down, and then the... The bottom part, and a jacket. This is so fucking dumb. Oh man, remember the the comic? The comic the the Zeno with the engineer and the with the the crowdsource comic. I redrew him years later when I was much better at drawing. So now this is like, oh wow, look at the, how much I've improved, you know? That's cool. I actually still kind of like this. This looks pretty nice. You can like see the personality in it and, and there's a sense of depth and stuff. There was a time where like I was really trying super hard to be better at art. Um, this was a friend of mine, I think. He was a mod on a forum. So I drew art for him. Oh, and that's it. That's it for 2003. So let's move on to 2004. Uh, yep, things are getting much sexier. Let's check this out. This is a big sketch. Big sketch, you can see a butt right there. Kitty butt, I don't think I drew that. So that zero I was really proud of. Um, this is Akuma. I don't know if you can really make it out. Here's his fist. And there's his arm and his body. And his belt right here, and this is his face and his hair. Um, so that was Akuma. Okay, so this this is when I was really into making sprites, and I wish I had some to show you. I don't know why I didn't think to to put some sprites on this drive that I brought over to work. Um, but so Alba is a character from a 3D King of Fighters that didn't do very well. And I was- tr I wanted to make a 2D sprite of him, so this was the first sketch I did of what he would look like in 2D. Um, 
and I was gonna reduce it down and make a sprite out of it. Uh, this is a girl's butt. Um, I think this is supposed to be Melissa. Um, I drew this on a paint chat board, or, or an oakaki, which is like, um, it's like, not live. So you'd go onto a website, and then you'd draw into a little box, and then you'd submit it, and it would show up on a, on a forum post. Uh, it was called an oikaki. Um, and I was obsessed with them. Uh, <clears throat> just an angry face, because I think I was angry that day. This is supposed to be my brother. Uh, he, uh, joined the Air Force. I think this is when he was in boot camp, so I didn't know if he was going to the Air Force or not. He was just in the military. Uh, more Egoraptor. I streamlined his design a little bit so he doesn't have the jacket. I gave him a little heart, because I was starting to be more in touch with my, um, feminine side. Uh, and then, uh... Got some, some sweet, uh, some sweet fur action going on. Loved fur. I don't know why. Um, don't love killing animals. But, uh, just the look of fur is so cool. Synthetic fur, I don't give a fuck. Um, there's base from Mega Man EXE. I remember I was really proud because the 3D shape of his helmet is so difficult to nail. And, uh, I think I actually had a toy that I was basing this drawing off of to make sure the shape was perfect. Um, oh, this is a picture of me and Susie. Um, when I was, like, courting her, I guess. This is, like, sort of around when I first met her. Uh, how old was I? 14? Um, so 2014, I was... 17. Um, so I drew this picture of us together, and I'm showing her something. And, uh, s s this is what the kind of shit that I wore at the time. <laughs> really cute picture. Uh, lost my motivation. I was drawing and I lost my motivation. This is some fucking... body, I guess? Some sexy boobage! We got Mai and Morrigan. Uh, from King of Fighters and from Darkstalkers. I called it Boob Duo. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. This is when I was starting to get really into this, like, uh... cartoony style. With the bigger heads. And the more, the bigger features, and the sort of, um, more exaggerated bodies. Um, like, like here, like the bigger heads and the bigger features. I was, I was, I was going in and out of nose territory. I was like, fuck it, I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need noses. I need to smell. There's Robin again. Man, I, I don't, you know, honestly, wow, what a forgotten relic. Cause, now that I'm looking back on all these drawings of Robin, I'm like, man, he must have been so important to me. And I just don't remember him at all. But now I do. Uh, this is another, uh, I think this is a paint chat drawing. Of, uh, just a real colorful girl. This is when I sort of discover new artists on DeviantArt. It was like, um, Lowish and, and Piwocket. P -Y I don't, I never knew how to pronounce it, but amazing artist. Um, those two were huge influences on me. Their use of color and pink and stuff really, like, awakened something in me. I was like, God, I love fucking just that pink and that, uh, that bright turquoise and yellow. Like, I love it. Um, so I started drawing more with that. Uh, Cami. For the life of me, I could not tell you or remember at all. It, this doesn't even feel like something I would draw. Like, this is honestly new to me. <laughs> but I I definitely drew it. There's there's a lot of like trademarks of my style back then. So this is me. Uh, this is a friend of mine. I was giving a flower to because she's really nice to me. Um, so Mega Man in like a more compact style. Mega Man EXE in that style. Mega Man X in that style. That was fun. I, I yeah I was really into like collecting. You know. So when I would draw something in a very compact like toy like style. I would, I would, it's like I wanted to collect them all, so I just drew a bunch, you know, um, in a series. So, like, think back to the Sega drawings I drew with, like, Jet Set Radio and stuff. Like, I just, I love drawing, like, sets that I could collect, you know? This is weird to say, but... Um, Chun-Li. Cute little action pose. Just try to get some action shit going, you know, uh, just, just switch it up a little bit. I actually like this a lot, even now. Uh, how cute is that? Uh, more sort of action stuff, not as cool, but that fist is cool. I must have, like, taken a reference photo, because that looks like my hand. <laughs> what is the- oh, the pencil wiggle trick. 
Ever wonder who invented the rubber pencil trick? No, honestly, I never thought about it. Why do you care? I don't know, it just seems like it'd be weird to be the creator of something so legendary in the 1800s. I have writer's block, woe is me, the pencil trick. Minutes later, I saw the devil turn my pencil into rubber and he shot himself in the face. Funny stuff. This is a sick animation, Mark M, that I made for him. Uh, just some girl with big boobs and big hips. F go figure. Uh, oh, this is the decline of video gaming. And I think this is supposed to be dim. I think this is supposed to be the Super Flash Brothers. Yes, it is. Because they put themselves in the cartoon. I was, I was drawing like a real nice, like, poster for them or something, just for fun. I guess I never finished it. They gave me my first shot at voice acting, so that was cool. Uh, this is a character... Is this my character or someone else's character? I don't remember. He's cool, though. I like all the, like, drapey cloth and, like, the... He's wearing, like, a thousand karate belts. That's kind of cool. Like, he collects his belts. Oh, neat. Maybe I should, like, revisit that. <laughs> There's an the Ego Raptor. I think I use that as an icon for a lot. Um, just really starting to get into pink. Uh, some girl... Oh, Effie! I had a- I had a dude who was like a friend of mine, we didn't talk much, but he was really into the Egoraptor design, and he- and he made like a female Egoraptor. Um, and he named her Effie. And, uh, so I drew some fan art of Effie. I don't know what this is. I guess it was Egoraptor. And he looked kind of Asian, so I called him Ego Asian. Alright. More Egoraptor. Looks a little flustered. Kind of getting fat there. <laughs> oh, this picture. So this is, um, I just switched up his design a little bit. Made him a little more, uh, fun, I guess. With the heart and the, and the hair. Uh, another old Egoraptor design. Lots of pink. This one I remember being really proud of because it was super realistic looking. Um, and he had like a background. It was just, that was a profile pic for a long time. Although I don't know where the rest of his head went. Uh, more Ego Raptor. Oh, that's me, like, finishing up the a Ego e a -Z -N picture. I just never finished it. Weird. Um, just trying more action poses, man. You just gotta switch it up every so often, you know? I wasn't very good at that at the time, but when I did it, it was fun. Uh, more Ego Raptor. Just obsessed with this character. Cause he was- he was just me, man, like... I guess this is how I saw myself, you know? Um... And it's- it's funny, cause you can see him become more effeminate <laughs> over time. With the hearts and the colors and everything. Uh, more Ego Raptor. More Ego Raptor. Oh, I guess these are done by name, so that's why. Uh, this was Ego Raptor's mom. I don't know, remember why, but she's got the same, like, fur and everything. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she passed down the fur genetically. Sure. Uh, female Alekman. I called her Alekmam. That was a thing. I remember being so fucking proud of this. This is Anchor from, uh, from Mega Man. Uh, the Game Boy Mega Man's. And, uh, <laughs> he is, um... He's a, he's such a nothing character. But I was so obsessed with him for a while, I just thought his design was so cool. And in the blue and the yellow. So, uh, I drew him and I just shaded the shit out of it. And man, it just looks so solid. Like, I, I think this is when I was sculpting, too, so I was really into making a, a picture look like it really existed in, like, 3D space. Um... And it really does, like, this hand in particular looks like, like, flat right here, and the shoulder piece looks like you could just, like, pick it up and feel the... the sort of shape of it and everything. Um, this is Evil Ryu. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of... A lot of drawings in this year. So, uh, hey, I'll hit you back next time on whatever. As I go through more of my old art, and make fun of it, and talk about it, um, I'll see you soon.